my girl, Rikki. And today, 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 we're going to be doing a hair care routine. That's just the move, cause why not? I haven't washed my hair in a week. It's nappy, it's dirty, and it's still washed. And what day shouldn't I do on a pretty day? If, if I would show y'all, but I don't feel like turning my camera around. It's a pretty day outside. I'm in a good mood. And we're just going to get it going. We're just going to wash it and comb it out. And y'all going to see how I get my big hair. Also, excuse my acne. As you can see, I'm going through a really bad phase. My face is mad at me for some reason. And I don't know why. But this is going to get changed. Period. So I'm going to go wash my hair, comb it out. With no product. I'll, matter of fact, I'll show y'all what I wash my hair with and comb it out with. So what you're gonna need for this whole process to start it off first, you need conditioner. I use Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist Steep Conditioner with the avocado and Australian Jabaka oil. I don't, you know, but yeah, I use this because. It's really easy for me to comb out my hair when I need to use conditioner. And I've been using this for a couple years now. Then for to sh you know wash and shampoo your hair, I three shampoo, volume shampoo. And I don't shampoo my hair often because it has you know like sulfates in it and stuff. But like if it's like really dirty, which is right now. It's Dirty. I've been doing so many hairstyles with eco styling and stuff. That's what I put my hair. Now for the leave-in conditioner, like after I get out the shower, you know, after I wash out, wash out all the product from this, because you're not supposed to keep this in your hair. You're supposed to wash it out, you know, when you're done combing out your hair and stuff. So same for the shampoo. I use Cantu Shea Butter. I'm pretty sure y'all know what that is. Um, leave-in repair cream. Oh, you know how to get that in there. You see? Okay, yeah, focused. And then I use Miss Jussie's. Miss Jussie's is a lifesaver for curly hair. For people with curly hair, please invest. Oh, oh, <laughs> invest in Miss Jussie's. I promise you will not regret it, bro. It's best thing ever. No animal testing, no anything. But it's expensive. It's like $16 at Target for where I live, that is. But yeah. And, and you're going to need a comb. Usually I use a paddle brush, but I can't find my paddle brush for some reason. So we're just going to have to use a comb. A comb, for me, it, it takes out my hair a lot more than a paddle brush would for me. But yeah. So you're just going to need these six things <laughs> so i'm gonna go wash my hair now and i'll see you when i get back i'm back the good news found my powder brush it's my favorite thing of all time to do for my hair so i have no product in my hair at all it's just wet washed all the product out now it's time to put the curly products in curly the okay, so I guess we're gonna put the shea butter first. So you can focus. focus. Shea butter first. You're just gonna get a dab of that, and you're gonna put it on the bottom of your hair, all type, like everywhere. Because your hair needs all of it. And make sure you rub it in really good. I have a part of my hair, it's not straight, but it's gonna have to do. I do it in sections because I want to make sure I get all of my hair. Don't put too much though because you still have other products to put in. Plus it needs to dry and if you put too much product in there, it's not gonna dry fast. And I want my hair to dry fast because 
if I put too much product in, it's gonna take three, two, two, at least two days to dry. Just make sure you get it all in there, rub it in. Should comb it out while you're doing this because I don't know about y'all, my hair gets tangled so easily. So I have to continue combing it out. That's enough for that. Next, we're going to use my favorite quick curls. But Miss Jessie, there's different types actually. There's quick curls, there's pillow soft curls, but I like using quick curls because it's, I think I like the way it defines my hair more than any of the other ones. So yeah. And yes, I've tried all of them. And this one's my favorite. So I start, start with the edges first because the edges need love too. Make sure the edges is, you know, gonna be defined as well. As you want because I know I do because it just I just love it like it's it cooperates it never disappoints it doesn't flake at all and it just defines your hair in the best way it works for all your types well all you know curly hair types Get just a little bit more and just focus on the bottom of my hair and on the back because that's the least, that's where it least gets most of right here on the back. Then you know, put it some on the bottom, make sure everything is covered. Now what I do after is get up a little bit. I start scrunching it. Start scrunching it. Doing that. 
so this is the final results of me doing my hair like this and excuse me what else i like to do is i like to pick it out kind of like not too hard because then it's gonna get really frizzy but you know just pick it out so if you want to make it bigger with more volume go ahead and do that but make sure it just doesn't get too frizzy like it's gonna get frizzy if you keep doing it you know so yeah that's it like comment subscribe show some love this is my first youtube video hope i did well hope y'all learned something yeah and that's it um i'm bad gabra k and i'm finna be signing out and i'll see y'all next week